hello and welcome back to 30 apps in 30 days where every single day we build and ship an app to deployment and we make a video documenting the whole thing today's video we're going to be doing day 19 and 20 combined the video is going to be a little bit different because i've already built the two projects so now this is me i'm going to be doing a bit of a voiceover a bit of podcast jam situation walking through the project with some screen recordings as we go and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe so you can see the rest of the challenges as they come out cheers anyway we've got our coke zero beverage on hand so let's jump into the video and you might be wondering why are we doing it like this way usually we record whilst we're building and the answer to that is i was feeling tired over the weekend and i know this is becoming a bit of a theme in these videos that we have these big pushes and then we get tired so it's a bit of a roller coaster but that's what we're doing here so i thought i couldn't for the life of me get up and film and hey welcome back to build let's and talk through everything as we build it's actually quite a bit of effort believe it or not to not only build the app but also film and talk through everything while you're building it it's actually way easier to just build the app so if you're watching at home thinking can i build an app in a day if i can build an app in a day and film the video doing it then you can definitely build an app in the day <laughs> especially using some of the techniques we use on the channel so yeah i thought obviously i need to get the app built and shipped I'll film it all and then we can do a voiceover and that can be future me's problem now future me is me so now here we are doing the video all right so enough waffling about what we actually building for days 19 and 20. so let's jump in so friend of the show george jefferson has been crushing it on etsy he's basically doing a bunch of programmatic etsy art creation not only is he selling a bunch on etsy but he's also selling the software for other people to do it and it got us inspired to look down the etsy route for ai image generation so basically what we started doing is looking around Etsy, looking for some art styles. What are people ordering? What do people want? So if you look for what people are already buying, then it gives you a good idea of what you can do. And then once we saw some of the stuff people were buying, then we took that to our good friend Nano Banana to actually see, can we generate something like this? And yes, we can. And we also tried it on Flux Context and got some similar styles. So we thought, okay, you know what? It's time to cook. But wasn't giving me much excitement to be honest this art style thing and right at this moment i wasn't sure am i building an etsy page here or am i building generator to generate this sort of art and i started leaning more towards the latter but then i started seeing some of these cool bike posters like ride bikes be happy and some of this other stuff that were like more hobbyist pieces and that got my inner rick rubin the inner artist thinking you know what this is a bit more interesting and got me wondering what hobby could i do that for and there's one very obvious answer you'll know that i'm a bit of a keen golfer so i started looking at some of the golf stuff and turns out there's a bunch of stuff on etsy of prints of like famous courses golf artwork if you've played one of these courses you want to maybe get a little token get a piece of artwork so we thought bingo that's what we're gonna do and we did look around at some other kind of nice golf artwork on abercrombie there's some cool stuff but we thought let's keep it simple let's just do the golf course artwork vibe so we went over to our friend nano banana again and whipped something up just to validate that it does work because i always say if you need to manually get a flow working before you can automate it and make it into a product so we did that looks good works good so it's time to build so the app that we're going for here is a kind of back end for an etsy business a way for me to generate a bunch of these art pieces that i can then list on etsy and I won't make you sit through a long claw code terminal session for some different styles. And we went on the top 100 golf course website to start to see, let's get a few golf courses that we can start implementing this on. So instead of starting fresh on this project, what we actually did is look to what we'd already built and reusing your own work and other people's work is a very good thing to do, especially if you're trying to ship an app in a day. So we went back to our nano project. That was the food photography one that takes terrible looking takeaway photos and makes them look nice and we did a duplication we thought it'd be nice and simple we obviously ran into a few auth issues but we pulled through and here is the final product so create beautiful golf course art so we're going to upload a photo of a lovely course punch in the name of it punch in the location and basically all this information is going to be sent to the nano generator prompt and then we can select the style here and we can upload styles we can delete styles we can change them we can do all this stuff don't worry so we're gonna upload this reference image. So I'm just looking at this demo video so I can sync it up. And then we can also say, what framing do we want? Do we want it hanging on a wall? Do we want just the artwork? And there you can see our lovely photo that we can then download. Maybe we'll have to do a few variations to get it ready for Etsy, but that is a pretty nice poster. And I think it would look nice up on some of these walls that are very bare. 
So that wraps up Project One. And yes, we did get it out to prod. Don't you worry. Okay, so the next project, our Sunday night project, let's be honest. Sunday nights are probably the hardest builds out of them all. Especially yesterday, I was out in the day. So getting home, doing the build requires a good bit of willpower but we actually made it a bit easier for ourselves we went straight to the kitchen convict chef to cook up our project here and i'll give a quick intro to this idea a quick pitch if you will i like to think i'm somewhat into my health and fitness i like to eat good food i like to move my body with my golf and jujitsu i like to get my eight hours sleep and name any of the huberman stuff i've probably tried it and they say you are what you eat if you eat a bunch of junk food a domino's pizza mcdonald's it tastes delicious don't get me wrong but you feel a bit shit when you do it and calories in calories out all that stuff and, I, and let me tell you i've tried counting calories probably 17 times in my life i download a new app I try this i try that and don't worry i'm not building an ai calorie counter don't worry about that i think being obsessed with calories in calories out tracking food macros is a bit of an old school bodybuilding thing so i don't want to do that but i do want to know what i'm eating and how that's going to make me feel as i go about my week I really the whoop or eight sleep readiness score which basically you know tells you how recovered are you how ready are you for shipping 30 apps in 30 days today and it works on a bit of a traffic light system so what i'd like for myself is a way to track my meals at a higher level without getting obsessed in the details something i can log my food and basically get some feedback like am i going to have a green score orange score or red score and that's what we built so we head straight to convex chef to get cooking again somehow this convex chef and these food apps go hand in hand don't ask me why so let me try and see what our prompt here was i want to make an app which allows me to track the food i want to eat here's the thing it should be focused not on calories and more on the quality of meals and things i'm putting in my body the goal is to track from a high level not to be obsessed with grams and weighing i want to use a whoop like recovery metric which shows your readiness score for the day if you eat a lot of bad food your score will be red but if you eat a bunch of good food your readiness score will be in the green very nice the score will update in real time based on what you're eating and then in terms of the technical side i should enter the food we'll do a simple llm call to open ai and then we'll let that decide how good or bad the food is again it's not going to be bulletproof but it's going to be something and we'll be able to test later what OpenAI thinks is good and not. That's quite interesting. <laughs> so Convex Chef always does a pretty good job out of the box. But for some reason, it just didn't like my OpenAI key. I don't know why. We had about 10 back and forths. And that's when I'm thinking on Sunday night, come on, just get it working. But as you can see, here's the kind of very rough and ready V1 that just puts in today's food. And then it gives a score for each one. But yeah, like I said, the AI was messing us about a bit. And then we have a classic vibe coding session. We made it so we could do breakfast, lunch and snacks and then enter different sections and get score based for each. And the way I made it was that we put in everything we have for the breakfast and then pass all that information to OpenAI so it would then come back with the readiness score. So again, I won't go through every single vibe code change here, but you can see our final version out on prod and you can go and see what GPT thinks of your meal today and how healthy it is and what your readiness score would be. But yeah, we didn't push too much on that. But I think it's quite a nice idea. I think it's got legs. I think as an app, it would be sweet. And I think I'm going to do a bit more development on this. I like the concept. And I think it's a fresh twist on food tracking and looking at it more holistically rather than how many grams of cheddar cheese did you have for dinner? <laughs> Plus, AI is obviously not going to be good for calorie counting. So what is AI good for? High level guidance, high level steering. And I think if you've eaten shit for three or four days, it's quite nice to actually see, oh yeah, like... Maybe I'm feeling pretty low on energy, but if I check my score this week, like I've got amber food scores throughout the week. And then you can get that clean food back in the system. But yeah, there we have it for day 19 and 20. I know a bit different to the usual format. Some of these builds are a bit more technical, a bit more innovative than others. I do feel a good pressure to try and keep pushing the boundary. But like I said, sometimes on the weekend, I'm just cooked. So just trying to make sure we're getting the reps in. We're still getting working towards that 30 apps. And we have pulled through. It's now Monday. It's 5.30 as I record this. I've still got to do another build this evening. But that's fine. We move. And we've got Cursor Hackathon on Wednesday, which is going to be sweet. So make sure you stay tuned for that vlog. But other than that, we'll try to keep pushing. And if you're still watching now, appreciate you. All the best.